Today's topic is meeting preparation, implementation, and facilitation. I've been in the workforce since 1970, and it's been really interesting watching the evolution of everything related to meetings. You know, in the past, it was fairly easy for us in terms of we didn't have all the technologies to deal with. We basically were responsible for the pre-meeting phase and the day of the meeting going in and making sure everything was appropriately set up for our executive or the host. We didn't have to worry about technology crashing the day of the event or something not working. What about the present? Adminologists will be involved in the pre-meeting stage, the meeting proper, and post-meeting. And we'll take a look at each of these and the roles that you could play. So in the pre-meeting stage, you need to be a superstar. That means when your leader is hosting a meeting, attending another meeting and is going to present, or maybe giving a presentation at a special conference, you'll want to make sure you dot all the I's and cross all the T's in the pre-meeting phase. You cannot afford to drop the ball on anything. Now, when we look at the meeting proper, I see three different roles you could play. The first role is when your leader is hosting a meeting or an event that you be able to physically attend and check the site before they begin that meeting. In other words, helping with all the technology or at least coordinating and facilitating that, seeing if your leader needs any last minute items to help prepare them for their event. A second piece with the meeting proper is that you attend your leader's meetings. This is very important for adminologists. And you're not going to just attend them to take notes. You are going to attend because you're contributing, you're giving ideas, uh, you're questioning things, and you're adding value to that meeting. Also with the meeting proper, you will be hosting your own meetings. I can see you hosting events and small meetings with your fellow adminologists. Now let's take a look at the post-meeting phase and the roles you can play. First of all will be when your leader has attended a meeting and capturing those action items that were discussed at the meeting. And then for yourself, when you host a meeting, there are numerous follow-up activities to be taken care of. What about the future? Well, the future is bright for adminologists. You will be presenting on behalf of your leaders. You will be hosting your own meetings, not only for people within your organization, but with fellow adminologists. You will be traveling with your leaders as business partners, just like anyone else on their staff travels now. Now let's take a look at the art and science side and optimization. So first of all is to communicate with all individuals that are pertinent to that meeting from logistics to the people who will be attending your meeting. Be adaptable, of course you know that. You have to be very adaptable because meetings are changing all the time. If you are an attendee, it's about participation, not sitting on the sidelines. If you are the host or presenter of a meeting, even if you are just going to speak for five minutes at your department meeting, you will need to know how to express yourself. You will need communication skills, how to assertively express your ideas and more. The science side, that is ongoing follow-up at every stage, pre-meeting, meeting proper, and post-meeting. So the science side is about your processes. For example, Jasmine has a binder with at least 20 pages of action items that she has to follow for our annual conference for administrative excellence. So just for that big conference, she has a binder and it is packed with action items, who is going to handle what, deadline dates, and so forth. The science side is to gather details, facts, and all pertinent information for meetings. And of course, to read, evaluate, analyze, and sift through information for your leader. Again, this is the um, helping your executive with the pre-reads. Very important. Optimization. 
First of all, you want to have a comprehensive checklist. I know what you're thinking. I do this all the time. I know what to do for meetings. I don't need a list. Do you know, the more we do something, we are more apt to forget a step in that process. The idea is to have a comprehensive checklist. And this way, you're not going to forget the little things because you take them for granted. Next, for major events, you may want to seek the advice of an event planner or work with your internal meeting planners. If you really want to optimize this, as I've said before in some other videos, go on the road with your leader. Last, you'll want to develop your presentation skills. Whether you are giving formal presentations or not today is not the issue or the question. Adminologists build skills today so they are ready for their future. I know many administrative professionals who have been asked on the fly to give a five-minute update at a staff meeting, or they've only been given two days' notice to give a testimony at a graduation class for training that they've attended. So the idea, again, you want to be prepared for your future, and that means you have to develop your skills today. Good luck. <laughs>